Yeah, I want to give a quick demo on how to uh, read codes on a Chrysler Sebring convertible. Now, I actually got two of these um, code readers. Actually, one of them is a lot better. It's like a scan tool, and it does like live reads. Now, this is just a simple code reader that reads the codes. That's all it does. But I'm going to tell you a couple of other things, actually, besides about how you read the codes. But basically, your data link port is right up here. And sometimes on other cars, they're right under here, by directly by the steering wheel. But this one happens to be here. You just connect it up. And you can see it says main menu, right? So let me read that really clear or what. But it says main menu. And um, what you got to do is you got to turn the key on. So, when you turn the key on, you're going to say read with the button read. You got to have the key on, right? So the ignition's on, everything, all the computer's on, everything. So it goes linking. You know, it takes uh, not even a minute. And on this car, you know, this car's had so much stuff done reading, 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 reading. And pass. Now, if you got a code, you can erase it right, right here. Now, I'm going to tell you the reason you want to erase a code because a lot of times you might have, if you have a code, you probably have several codes, and you want to make sure it's really a code first. First, you know what you want to do is you want to erase it, and then um, you can also erase the codes just by disconnecting the uh, battery for a little while too, maybe 15 minutes or so. But the other thing is you, what you want to do is you want to erase the codes and when if you then just drive it around for maybe a couple miles and then see what code you have because a lot of times you'll have more than one code and what happens is um, what happens is you're like wondering what the hell code is it you know you're saying hey I got this code I got that code I got this code and all this what you want to do is you actually want to erase it and uh, go ahead and drive it around and then see what code pops up first because whatever code pops up first that's going to be your problem now this thing's cheap you know I just keep it in the trunk I actually have another one I'll probably go over it later it's a, it's a scan tool like the engine running and it does all kinds of weird shit you know it's but you know normally I just use this thing you don't really need nothing fancy. I got a fancy one too, but I normally just read. I got one in each car, but you know, every single car now since 1996 has ODPC too, and uh, you know, you can look up what the codes are. You know, I keep this in a plastic bag in a trunk. It's this is what it is. You know, ODBC two. You can see it right on there. So um, this is just a simple one, just a simple reader. But you know, if you got tools and you're going to work on your car, you ought to get one of these damn things. Just even just a simple reader. Like I said, I got one that's more fancy, but I don't really use the fancy ones because I can figure out what's wrong just by the simple with the simple ones, and um, that's all it requires. But that's how you do it. And like I said, if you have a code, you probably got more than one code. What you want to do is you want to erase the code, drive it around, erase the codes, drive it around. And see what code comes back first, because that'll be the one that comes back first. That'll be the, more than likely will be the problem.